Hello everyone. For this review, we've got Giant Man and Wasp 2-pack. This guy just went up for sale. Was it Monday, Tuesday? I don't know. I can't remember. It was this week. It was like a few days ago. And um, here it is. Uh, we already have it. And um, I know there was a teaser about this, but this just came out of left field. And in the day um and time of the internet um it's just amazing to get something like this very quick um hasbro does this every now and again with certain things and um it, it's pretty cool that they were able to pull this off so this packaging i know they're going to a more square packaging so this is um using the you know curved um style that they've had up until now um you got this nice artwork on the side um is that identical yeah it's identical artwork just mirrored and you get this really nice uh artwork on the back um nothing special on the bottom and Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest. That's kind of cool. Um, I, I think eventually I might want to get um, another set of this. I only got one, um, knowing this was kind of limited. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, these may have sold out and then came back up. I don't know. But, you know, you get these extra portraits, you know, you get them in their, you know, unmasked looks. You got a nice lab coat for Hank. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So um, I'm going to open it here and uh, take them out and uh, compare them with some of the previous releases. Okay, so here we have them out of the packaging. Um, even though Hank's foot is a little, uh, awkward right now, he's standing up pretty well. Um, Hank comes with, um, so by default he's got this, uh, trigger hand. I don't know why he's got a trigger hand. Uh, it may help hold the data pad a little bit better, or I, I guess it'll help him hold this flask. Looks like it's got some blue liquid in it. Um. The other hand is fist, and then he's got kind of these uh, dynamic gripping hands that he comes with. You know, good for action action poses. I mean, he could probably hold the flask with that also. You get this little Quinjet, and let's see if we can get it into view. Uh... That's pretty cool. So you can pretend the six inch figure is a giant figure holding the jet. Wasp, you get the unmasked head looking pretty nice. And you get some splayed out hands, some dynamic, you know, comic book splayed hands. And she comes with the fisted hands. Um, the head sculpt on wasp looks really nice uh this is an extra piece looks like it's glued on to the side um looks like the antennas are separate pieces that are stuck in glued in um as you see she's got these holes in the back and you stick the wings in there they're pretty tight, so be careful. She's going to be back heavy now, but uh, bend her forward a little bit. There we go. So you can have her with and without the wings. And then Hank. He's got a very nice cloth lab coat. 
Um, the head sculpt looks really good. Um, let's take the lab coat off. And he's got a pinless body underneath. So that's nice. Fix that belt there. Uh, and the belt is a separate piece. It's a hole, hole in the back um, to mount some accessories if you wanted to for whatever reason. Let's see if I can change his feet around a little bit. And let's remove the unmasked head. And there he is with the giant man head. And I would say be careful um, putting the head on because uh, these antennas seem to be glued on, maybe pegged in and glued on. And um, I could see that getting damaged easily. Um, articulation, pretty standard, double elbows, double knee, he's got calf split, thigh split, um, he does have a butterfly joint, that's nice. And then Wasp does have double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, no calf cuts, but there's a thigh cut, bicep cut. Um, if there is any kind of articulation in the center, you're not going to be able to use it. This is... Uh, not sure what's going on with the outfit. This is definitely an overpiece, and it's pretty hard and tough. And top part, I'm, I'm guessing this is plastic all the way. Um... All right, and then let's uh, see if we can take a look at her with her civilian head, unmasked head, however you want to call it. She's not going to stand. She, I don't know if you can tell, but she was just slowly falling backwards. Okay, there you go. Um, that's that's really nice. Um, and just to kind of uh, show this off a little bit closer, you get this nice data pad, and it's got some blue and red on it. So that's pretty cool. I've got a few other versions of these guys. Got Ant Man. That uh, I think this is from the retro packaging. And then we've got Wasp also with the retro packaging. Um, I can tell those wings are the same. Um, both of these guys use older bodies. Um, they're pinned, but uh, they still look nice. Um, and these are, you know, pretty classic also. Um, it's like 80s looks for them. Um, so there you have those two. With the giant man coming up, the HasLab giant man uh, should be ship shipping soon. It'll be good to have this guy um, to kind of display with it so you can see him in his uh, standard form before he um, activates and becomes the true giant man. Um, I'm really digging these. Uh, I really appreciate that Hasbro's gone with this pinless stuff. Um, the releases are kind of mixed still, you know, we're still getting some things with pins, some things without pins. Um, seeing these without pins, you can pretty much bet these are going to be the only versions that we're going to get. 
I'd be surprised we'd get this exact version, you know, in the future because this is this is kind of perfect. This is everything you'd want to have in a Hasbro six inch action figure. Um, so that's it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you think. Um, especially, you know, getting prepared for the HasLab. Hopefully we'll be shipping soon. And um stay tuned for some more reviews. Thanks for watching.